Hey there, my name is Christopher Kreese. I am a photographer and videographer based out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. And today I wanted to talk to you about the equipment that I use in order to get my job done. So when it comes to doing my job as a photographer and videographer in the field, a lot of what I do depends on having a good support system for getting the job done. And so one of the things that I've recently invested in is a great backpack. My backpack of choice right now is the Manfrotto 3N1-36 backpack. It's a mouthful, but it is a wonderful backpack and it is mostly designed for drones. However, it also works for a large kit. So in my case, I am using the Sony a7 III with the 24 to 70, the 85 f1.8, the 50 f1.4, which is being used for this video, and some other accessories like the Ronin S and the DJI Mavic Air. Having all that equipment on hand and being able to fit everything inside a backpack is super useful, and it's one of the things that I love about this backpack. In addition to that, my gear includes the 24-105 f4 lens, which I use when I'm out in the field and I need a lens that is stabilized and is great for outdoor work where I don't need to go all the way to 8. Another lens that I love using is the 85 1.8. It's not as expensive as the 85 1.4. The autofocus is faster and it is a fantastic lens. I get amazing shots and amazing portraits out of it. Plus the fact that there is a focus assist button on the side of the lens, I could just hold that down and use that to enable IAF, which allows me to get very accurate focus tracking on the face and the eyes. A lens that I am very fond of is going to be the 50 1.4. It's the 50 millimeter 1.4 from Sony and Zeiss, and it is an absolute beast. I love how it renders colors, the bokeh, it swirls, it gives you that Zeiss 3D pop, and then the fact that it opens all the way to 1.4. There are times when I'm shooting, and I'm shooting late at night, or I'm shooting towards dusk, and to be able to get backlit shots really, really low light shots and just get everything sharp and crisp and in focus with this lens is amazing. Additionally, the lens that I use most often is a favorite of a lot of photographers, the 24-70 to f2.8, and it doesn't matter which camera system that you shoot with, it is a standard lens for just general purpose work because of how wide it opens and the focal range and it just makes my job so much easier. It's a recent addition to my kit and it allows me to get so much work done without having to worry about, okay, do I need to switch lenses? Is this gonna make, you know, is this gonna slow me down? Having just that focal range right there and being able to get low light shots and get really nice bokeh, it helps me do my job so much easier and so I appreciate that. Some additions to my kit are the Ronin S, for video work, so when I'm doing videos for clients, having a Ronin S and then being able to balance everything on the Ronin, get smooth panning shots, it just helps so much in delivering a much more polished product. Finally, a recent addition that I picked up a couple weeks ago was the DJI Mavic Air. A couple weeks ago, I went to Target and they had the Mavic Air on discount because they're no longer carrying drones. And so the Mavic Air, which is normally $800, was discounted to $400. And then when I got to the cashier, it was discounted again to $250. So now I have the Mavic Air, I can deliver aerial footage from clients and then if you throw it on a polarizer from Polar Pro, I love their filters. Um, the fact that they do combination filters like the ND16 polarizer, but it polarizes images so that your skies and your colors pop. It makes such a difference in getting your aerial footage and I appreciate having this tool that allows me to help create a better narrative when I'm telling my stories through the use of visual elements. That wraps it up for this video. I want to know what tools do you use to make your content and how can I help you in finding ways to be more creative? Leave a comment below in the comment box. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. My name is Chris and I will see you in the next video. 
Take care.